welcome back to Half Elite. Today we're going to be uh, today we're going to be looking at a couple of old diecast reviews that I had done. This one was one from January. This was cards that I had gotten from the Cracker Barrel Wave Two. I would have shown you it on the Lionel website, but they have uh, apparently taken it down since for some reason, or like I looked around in forever and I couldn't find it on the Authentics website. But yeah, anyways, um, <laughs> that's the reason why I'm showing this picture. But anyways, I got um. The Jane McMurray, the Ross Chastain, and then the Chase Briscoe. So anyways, without further ado, uh, let's get into it. Hello everybody and welcome back to Half Elite. This is um, my review over the a uh, couple of the new Cracker Barrel Wave cars. This is Wave 2 of 2019. You've got the uh, Jamie McMurray uh, last ride uh, thing from Daytona this year. Um, you've got the uh, Ryan Newman... Oscar Mayer car, patriotic. And then you've got um, Chase Briscoe's number 98 Nutra Chops car from the Xfinity series. Really, the only reason I got this car was because it was an Xfinity car. Anyways, let's get into it. First up, Ryan Newman. First car up is Ryan Newman. Uh, his Oscar Mayer's um, patriotic car. So thing about this car is, um, interesting thing, let me see if I can, uh, get it right here, so it's got the, um, patriotic wheels, here. let me try to see if I can get, like, a flash on or something and make that better, so yeah, here's a better view, and then they say, honor and remember, yeah, there we go, so anyways, um, this car is really nice, uh, because, I don't know, it's just the general, like, patriotic thing, you've got a mix of I think those are literally hot dogs. Yeah, you've got a mix of hot dogs on it and like, stupid thing, do you want to work? Yeah, you've got a mix of hot dogs on one side and then the side that says hot dogs has uh, stars on it. So yeah, that, that's interesting. Um, so looking at the front of the car, you've got the Oscar Mayer logo, Ford, Mustang 6, Ford front body, um, 6 up on the top with a couple of Oscar, Ma Oscar Mayer logos, uh, Oscar Mayer right there, Oscar Mayer there, Ford, Ford back end, um, Roush Fenway, yeah, okay, whatever, um, so, and then, on this side, you got the Oscar Mayer hot dogs. Like I said, Wyndham Rewards. Does that logo sideways? Let's see if. Yeah, I think that logo got put on kind of sideways there. So, um. Then you've got Mac Tools, um. Simeons, and then. Not even, I don't even know that I'm going to try to read that. Yeah, I can't read that. Freightliner, Champion, and is that, is there an actual, like, l other logo there, or no? I don't know. So, anyways, then the 6, Mechanics Wear, 3M, K&N, NASCAR Salutes, Ryan Newman, Ford, Oscar Mayer, Coke, um... These logos I don't recognize. Um, acorns? <laughs> what? I'm confused. Um, another logo there that I don't, I don't know that I'm going to be able to read that. Um, Moog. Edelbrock, Edelbrock, um, Sunoco, and then both sides are the same, <laughs> symmetrical. So, my thoughts on this car, um, I think it's an okay car, it was, I don't know, I think, I, I mainly bought it because I don't have any other Ryan Newmans, um, or at least Ryan Newman for when he, uh, moved to Rosh Fenway. That's a chip on the back? Yep, that is an enormous paint chip on the back. Um, 
the roof that was kind of in the weather. Yeah, that is a better view. That that's a that's a big paint chip. But anyways, yeah, I think it's a good car. I like it personally. Um, I'd get it if you don't have any other Newmans. But I mean, like, yeah, I think if you have another Newman, you don't probably need it. I guess. I don't know. But anyways, Ryan Newman. Next car up is the Chase Briscoe Nutri Chomps Xfinity number 98 car. Um, my thoughts on this one, I, like, I don't know. I think it's a pretty good car. Uh, I mean, especially just the fact that it's an Xfinity car, I'd probably get it. Um, so on the front, you've got premium Nutri Chomps, um, Ford Mustang, and um, number 98 right there. Yeah. Then you've got Moog, Edelbrock, Sunoco, uh, Xfinity, Mobile One, Holly MSD, uh, Sunoco Rookie Contender for the uh, Rookie of the Year Award. Um, mechanics were Duralas Simpson ARP. Then the you got the 98 and a dog there for some... Well, I guess it's a dog food they're advertising. And uh, Biaggi, uh, Exalta... And that, I have no idea. It's, like, so small, I don't even know that I could, like, try to tell you what that is. Uh, like, getting closer isn't really going to help much. Yeah, uh, it's something. Uh, chase the, uh, chase, hashtag chase the 98. I literally have no idea what that means. Uh, Ford, Mobile One, Haas. Just got the regular tires. Um, up the side, you've got... Rawhide Fresh. I assume that's part of the Nutri Chomps thing. Um, Chase Briscoe, Ford, Mobile One, Haas, something with a V, and AMS Oil, maybe? I don't know. And then up the front of the car, you've got like I had already said, uh, Nutri Chomps, 98, Ford, and then Premium Nutri Chomps. On the back, you've got the uh, Ford GT with all the Premium Nutri Chomps logo. Uh, um, and then Rookie Stripes, because, uh, yeah. And then the Ford license plate. Both sides of the car are the same. So, this car... Um, you can get it at the regular, like, Target or Meyer or Walmart or whatever lines. Um, yeah, I think that, I mean, just saying as it's an Xfinity car, I definitely get it if you really like the Xfinity or whatever. Yeah. Um, my thoughts on this car, it's not terrible, I guess it's not, I don't know why they did this one exactly. It seems like they always do the, the Stuart Haas number 98 car, so maybe, like, try doing something different. But, I don't know. This car is definitely a good one to get if you are looking for Xfinity cars. And last but not least, Jamie McMurray. So, before I, like, open up this car, I was going to go ahead and take you uh, take the opportunity to show you what the packaging looks like. First up, you got NASCAR Authentics there. Free and, old, free and up. I don't exactly know why they do that. Like, I mean, I guess it's like a choking hazard or something. But I don't know what kind of small parts are going to be on this car. Like, unless you're, like, ripping things off of it. Like, I don't think... That, I don't think someone's going to be able to, like, swallow the entire car. But whatever. Um, I got 1948. Uh, the Newman, number 6. Um, Bowman, number 88. Um, the uh, Briscoe, number 98. The McMurray, number 40. The 9-11 Memorial, which is very interesting. I didn't, like, like, I was kind of confused when I first saw that, like, w like, on the packaging, like, what that would be. Like, obviously, this, not, this isn't, like, on the back or whatever. You can see, like, what the cars look like, like, on, like, on the regular line. Like, it's just, it says just, like, the number there. Because, like, at first when I saw the 19, I was trying to figure out if that was an Xfinity car or a cup car. Because I didn't actually have, like, the car there. And then... Yeah, and then last but not least, Kyle Busch, number 18. And, um, yeah. So on the back, 
all the legal stuff. Um, and then the numbers, the NASCAR sticker, collect them all. NASCAR Authentics 164, whatever. Um, $4.99 if you want to get any of these um, at... Uh, I got these at Cracker Barrel, but you can get them. The not this specific packaging. This specific packaging is exclusive to Cracker Barrel, but you can get, um, like I'm pretty sure you can get any of these in the regular line at just about any store that has them. So yeah, unless you go to the Targets in my area that have no idea how well, what a NASCAR is, and they just have a NASCAR um, tag up there that they never actually stock the shelves. Anyways. Uh, let's go ahead and open it and uh, show you what it's like. So like I said, last but not least, Jamie McMurray's number 40 last ride McDonald's car. This is pretty much a lot like the McDonald's cars that he had. The main reason that I got it was because of the number. I mean, it's another car that I can have when I like do races or whatever. Um, so anyways, on the front you got Cessna, McDonald's, 40... Cessna, Bass Pro Shops, two logos for some reason. On the back, you got Bass Pro Shops Word, Bass Pro Shops Logo, Z01, Camaro, 40, the Camaro back just in general. On the side, you got uh, Bass Pro Shops, Cessna, Advent Health, 40, Siemens. Um, I don't know what that is. Lincoln Welders, Sherwin-Williams, um... On the contingency sponsors up, up on the um, up on right by the wheel here. If I could back up enough so they can see it, Lincoln Welders, Mechanics Wear, 3M. Off the side, you got Goodyear, Goodyear just regular tires, uh, Moog, Edelbrock, um, Sunoco, the 40. Um, up the side here, you've got Bass Pro Shops, um. From the bottom of the top, you get Gear Wrench, Freightliner, Credit One, and Bass Pro Shops again, and Jamie McMurray. Um, I think if this car was just a regular, like, number one or whatever Jamie McMurray car, I wouldn't be too crazy, like, needing to get it because I already have one of them from a while ago. But just the fact that this is, like, his last car, like, it's just kind of an interesting thing to have. Um, I definitely think that... I don't know, like, exactly what he's doing. I know he's been doing stuff with Fox for, like, the pre-race stuff or whatever. But, um, yeah, I hope that, um, I hope that he can have a good career or whatever for, uh, journalism or broadcasting, whatever he's doing. Um, this car in general, I definitely, I mean, simply for the fact that it's the, uh, last ride one, I'd get it if you really want it. I'd, I'd get it over just, like, a regular, like, the newest, like, Chase Elliott car or something, obviously. Because this is, like, I don't know, one of the things you don't get very often. So I, I do think that uh, Lionel has done a good job of, like, expanding their horizons from just, like, back when they did the old Spin Master ones that would just, like, well, here's the 18th Jamie Murray car that we've... Or not, no, here's the, like, 18th, um, like... I don't know, Dale Jr. or something, like, Jeff Gordon, Jimmy Johnson. It's just, like, like not every single paint scheme that they had the entire year. Like, they've actually started, like, they've put out some of the, like, Roush Fenway racing cars. They've actually, like, started putting out some of the, like, go fast racing or whatever. And, like, if Spin Master would have done that, that would have been obnoxious. But, um, yeah, props to Lionel for getting this car. Um, I personally like it. I think that, um, you, you will too if you, uh, end up getting it. Um, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, let's just do a review of all the, like, general wrap-up of all the cars. So, my thoughts on the cars. Um, these were definitely, I think, the best available that I, like, that were at the Cracker Barrel that we went to. Um, but, like, like, the only... It seems like they only stock a couple of a couple of cars. Like it's just like they only had like four or five there, instead of like the whole wave. It's like like I think just in general NASCAR has kind of turned into like 
I mean, the cars are expensive because they need all the licensing. They're not much different than a Hot Wheels car to, like, a three- or four-year-old who's just wanting to drive something back and forth. Like, so they just stop, like, stocking it as much. And, like, for the people who are actually trying to collect them or do, like, stop-motion races or whatever, it's, like, not as easy to, like, get what you want. Because if you want to go on eBay and get them, they're, like, 15 or 20 bucks. And I'm not willing to shell out 15 bucks for a NASCAR that I could find at the store for five. But, um, yeah, glad that I got these cars. Um, yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed this video and that, um, it's given you some advice for, like, uh, what to get if you are looking in the market for some NASCARs. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. This has been Half Elite, uh, signing off. Bye. Anyways, that was me from back in January reviewing, uh, Ross Chastain, Jamie McMurray, and Chase Briscoe's, uh, 164th cars from 2019. Um, next video coming out should be tomorrow, uh, where I review 187th scales from, um, I think Ryan Blaney and Paul Menard. Uh, yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell, and sign up for a car for the Half Elite Cup Series. This has been Half Elite. Thank you for watching. Bye.